Hello everyone, Sean Mancini here and today I'm showing you how to do a network scan using Fing. Fing is available on overlooksoft.com slash download. It's available on Android devices and Apple iPhones as well as uh, desktop operating systems, Mac, Windows and Linux. Today I'm going to show you how to use it on Linux but the same commands are available on Mac and Windows. I'm just going to show you a brief overlook on how the app functions and uh, we'll do a basic scan. So um, in Ubuntu, uh, it is a command based tool. So simply you can just do sudo fing and it'll do a quick scan on the network your computer currently resides on. And then what's cool about it is that it'll actually show uh, a ma the MAC address um, readings per IP. So you'll see dot two this is the mac address of dot two so then it's kind of um like an inventory you can associate the host names to the mac addresses and um from there you'll be able to uh do proper labeling okay now another cool feature that this has is if you want to see quickly what the mac address uh sorry what ip address your nick is on Okay, without having to do if config, and uh, you want to see what subnet is on, so just fing i eth zero. Okay, and then it'll pop up. This is the default gateway dot two fifty four. This is um, <clears throat> the MAC address, and it's on a slash twenty four subnet. To scan a different subnet, you'll do fing one nine two one six eight dot one dot zero slash twenty four as an example and that'll scan the 1.0 network and I do have a 1.0 network it's just not in use so the layer 3 interface on the router shows up but there's nothing else there okay, so this tool is very useful for network scanning obviously uh, another thing too is network inventory it's a good starting point kind of when uh, if you walk into a network that is no not well documented you can use this tool um, another thing going back to one more to that command if you had multiple ethernet ports so you can do dash i eth1 or eth2 but um, one thing I one thing kind of a glitch I see is that I don't have eth1 or eth2 but yet it still pulls up the eth0 um, DT zero info. <clears throat> so if you have, uh, I hope this video was uh, informative for you, and hope that uh, explained the basic features of this tool. Um, it's also available on the Android app, which um, is also another another plus because it's portable and it just uses the Wi-Fi um, the Wi-Fi chip inside your phone to do the scan. It offers the same features actually plus because you'll actually be able to do port scanning and everything with it. Um, so <clears throat> I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions or comments please leave them in the, the video below or you can visit my website www.seanmancini.com. Speak with you soon. Thank you.